Right, this is Martin from Octo Inkjet. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to remove uh, old ink or um, uh, previous ink in a CIS system and how to then replace it with um, a new supply of ink. Um, one of the things that we've also found with this particular set, unfortunately we didn't have the video camera running already, was um, also algae. So we may actually get to demonstrate that as well, so we'll have to see. But um, what we're going to do is just show you some of the things that you need. Now, first of all, uh, a Lua slip, not a Lua lock syringe, preferably something like a 50-60mm capacity on it. Um, you'll want a nice long needle like that and a pull-through adapter like this or something similar. You can sometimes use uh, a Lua slip but if you do you want to be thinking about whether or not it's causing any kind of uh, damage to the um, rubber seal here. Um, this is slightly thinner so it's slightly better. Whatever you have you need a notch in it because otherwise it blocks the plate inside the cartridge and it won't suck anything through. Okay, Right, so here's the process. Um, what we're going to do is just suck all of the ink through and we're onto the cyan here. So I'm just going to pull that filter out for now. Oop. And it looks like I've uh, managed to wreck my glove already. That's a good start. Right, what you do, put it into the bottom and then just draw ink through and it looks like we've got a clog in this one as well right if you are pulling through and absolutely oh hold on absolutely nothing is really coming through or it's like that then you've probably got a clog in it don't keep pulling put that down I'm just going to change this glove actually <laughs> rather than trying to pull the ink through the bottom here with this at the minute what we're going to do is we're going to drain all of the ink out of here from the top so you need this long needle Pull the plug out of here. Be careful because it will spatter when you remove it. So if you try and protect it from going point like that, that's it. Just put that down somewhere. Right, and then get in and suck ink out from the corner. Make sure you've got an old bottle or something similar standing by so that you can dump the ink into. Um, one thing we don't recommend is that you just dump this old ink straight into uh, the sink because the water system isn't necessarily designed to, to handle chemicals like this. Um, so it's much better to actually put it into general waste in a bottle. So this is an old bottle here that we've got. I'm just going to dump it in here. You do want to be trying to get as much of this ink out as possible. it contains the algae in it. I'm not sure if we've actually sucked it through already but we'll see in a minute. Right, now, now that you've done that, what you need to do now is push a reasonable bolus of air through here to try and unplug. So, I'm gonna stick it in and then push. Now, you can't really see this, but yeah, it's just gone pushing it all through. So I've shoved everything out of the cartridge and into that area there. So I'm now going to suck that out as well. Get ink everywhere as usual. Now we haven't got anything nearly as dramatic as we had earlier um, in terms of algae. But what you will sometimes see is if you put um, like a needle like this into somewhere like this or into, a, into an old bottle of ink, when you pull it out you will sometimes find that there is like a little piece of string dangling and this hasn't got any string on it so the algae is obviously not that well in fact established but you'll sometimes get a little blob or um, a string hanging down so uh, just keep an eye out for that, if that's happened you definitely don't want to be using that ink again Okay, so we've dragged most of the ink out, but because we are dealing with an algae contamination, we really want to flush it through properly. So the next thing I want to do is use some of my new ink to um, partially fill this and then drag through into here, um, and then we're going to dump it. So you're effectively trying to flush as much of the rubbish out and the algae out as you can. Um, the new ink will actually have an inhibitor in it, it'll have a biocide. So the algae will already be dying, if you, if you like, with the new ink. But you don't want to make life easy for the algae to re-establish itself. So, right, 
I'm just going to get some new ink and I'm going to flush this out. Okay, um, if you're using squeeze fill, um, your ink will come with a seal like this. You don't need to remove the seal, but you do need to cross cut it. So you cross it like that. Now, if you are using an old one of these, you also need to go and flush it. So I've forgotten to do this. I'm going to go and do that now. If you've had algae as well, to be honest with you, you're also it's well worth thinking about replacing the needle because any algae is likely to be in this. So uh, we're going to replace that too. So fresh needle. This has been washed out. We're now going to put maybe about 10, 20 mil of ink into the reservoir at the bottom just to act as a flushing agent. Don't put it all in because you'd just be wasting it all. Just enough like that. So we use our syringe and our pull through adapter to then pull all of that ink and a whole lot of air through here. Now at this point, don't worry, I know you're putting a load of air into the tubing. We're going to reprime it again properly in a minute. So yeah, keep pulling through. There we go. Right, and again, all of this stuff is being dumped. You're not keeping this at all. It's all going. Sorry, I know you spent money on this, but trust me, it's the best pound you've wasted compared to wasting five pounds because the ink goes off and darn so quick. Right. Right, so we've done all that. Um, now I'm going to go and flush this out again, um, just to be on the safe side. Um, and before I do that, I'm also just going to pull any excess that we've got out of the bottom. One other little pro tip is when you're doing all of this, um, you probably want to be thinking about replacing your filters with the original bungs, the, the air vent hole, uh, plugs that you got with your kit. Um, if you don't have them, don't worry too much, but make sure that you don't tip the whole thing right over, um, because otherwise you're going to get ink pouring out here, it will mix and create an unholy mess. You don't really want to be tipping any more than about that. Right, so we've just pulled everything out. I'm just going to go and flush this all out, and then I will put the new ink back in. So that's now full. So the next stage is to reprime the system. At the moment, as you can see here, I'll just bring it up. This line has got, you can see, you've got a little solid area there that's just ink, and then you've got this lighter blue and that just means that's air in there so you need to get rid of all of that you also need to pull um, ink into the cartridge which has got full of air as well so we're going to do that one or two ways first of all what I'm going to do is just pull a reasonable amount of ink through the bottom like this now we're going to reuse this ink and I'm going to put it straight back into the reservoir see it's a nice solid mass of ink so that's all coming through nicely brilliant well, that isn't all the air out of the system so I'll just dump that back in to the reservoir we can with this one because it's not the flush part right now the next thing we do is reprime um, this section right now the reason we go in from the top here and we've just pulled the plug out here, what we're going to do is there's still air in here, so what we do, we push a little slip syringe like this one in, and then we just gently pull on it until we get ink coming through. And you still see there's loads of air, see? Still air coming in. If you only use the pull through adapter through the bottom you won't pull all of this air out so that will do so pull that and we then plug that like so now then that in there. one of the other jobs we have to do is to also prime the CIS system itself now this is a um, what's known as a pressure balance system or Marat bottle. 
um, what you're wanting to do is fill there's a tube just under this that pushes down and exits at the bottom here so what you're doing is gently pushing air into that until see the air, the ink rising here a little bit just pushing that in until you get a bubble yeah right that's now sorted you're looking for a big bubble of air it's difficult to see with the phone but you get a bu bubble of air coming out from underneath that means that this is now full of um, air and this is full of ink so what you do is once that's done you take your plug that you removed earlier put that back in the fill hole and back. we will just wipe that area first before we do and then pull the plug back in and we'll pull that out and that is pretty much it because we've got more to do we are plugging these with um, vent plugs rather than vent filters because uh, we've got lots more of these to do, I'll be lifting out and putting them down again. Okay, so that is effectively one uh, channel done. You do the same for all of the rest. As you can see, we've done one, two, three, four. Um, and once that's done, you'll then be able to get your system back up and running. It's, um, like I said, we found algae in one of the channels already, um, so we're replacing the whole lot just to avoid any problems.